All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to That New Toy Smell. We're here in episode 10, if you can believe it. Wow, that, everybody That's a lot of 10s. Thing. Now, as you can see, myself, Pixel Dan, and Scotty Cash are on a road trip this month. Uh, we decided to go hit up the uh, Midwest's uh, coolest toy show, the Toy Man Toy Show. I like toys. Uh, Plug. No, no, Plug. No dirt, though. Dirt, unfortunately, uh, there's a restraining order with the uh, state of Missouri. He's not allowed uh, anywhere near the uh, state line. So... <laughs> what? They actually have cops all the way out of the other side of it. <laughs> yeah, we, Looking for dirt. Yeah. We, won't, we won't discuss what happened. Let's just say it involved a donkey and a weird stripper. Okay. Well, on that note, before we go inside to the toy show, we're going to check out a new Plastic Treasures, all about one of the coolest toy lines ever, Bucky O'Hare. Let's take a look. Sweet. Bucky O'Hare was first introduced in a comic book series that came out in the mid-1980s. It told the story of a parallel universe known as the Anniverse, where a war is raging between the United Animal Federation and the Sinister Toad Empire. A green hare named Bucky is the captain of a mammal frigate known as the Righteous Indignation. Bucky and his crew are the main focus in the series, battling in a continuous storyline to save his first mate Jenny and end the Toad Empire. Another time and space, a parallel universe is falling on its face. When out of the chaos, who else could it be? But the animal adventurers from SPACE! Bucky! Captain Bucky O'Hare! Several years later, this comic series inspired a brand new cartoon series. Bucky O'Hare and the Toad Wars debuted on television sets in 1991. Most of the ideas and characters from the comic series were used in the cartoon, with a few differences thrown in here and there. It was an awfully exciting and quite mature cartoon for its time. Sadly, the show only lasted a mere 13 episodes before being cancelled, but this was just enough time to spin off both a fantastic NES game and a series of action figures. The Bucky O'Hare action figures were released by Hasbro in 1991 to coincide with the new cartoon series. Several of the characters from the cartoon made it into action figure form. The lineup consisted of the heroes of Captain Bucky O'Hare, Deadeye Duck, Willie DeWitt, Blinky, Bruiser, and Commander Dogstar. On the villain side of the lineup, we were given the Toad Air Marshal, Toad Borg, a Storm Toad, and Owl Negator. Now I have to admit, toys from this era are among my absolute favorites. It just seems that everything that came out during this time period came on these awesome brightly colored packages that really caught your attention. On top of that, the toys themselves were also painted very brightly and came with fun accessories and overall just really felt exciting. And the Bucky O'Hare line falls right into this category. The action figure packages featured brightly colored logos from the show as well as great comic style depictions of the character on the front of the box. There were even word balloons. It's as if the packages themselves were telling a story. The figures themselves were practically perfect representations of the characters from the TV series. The paint was vibrant and the details were spot on. Each figure included an accessory, which was usually a blaster of some sort. The figures stood about 5 inches tall and were just all around a really fun toy line to have. We even got a few really great vehicles, including the Toad Croaker and the Toad Double Bubble. Sadly, just like with the cartoon series, the toy line died off early. It did not make it past the initial first wave of figures. Now, it has been speculated that one of the biggest causes of the line getting cancelled off so soon is that, for reasons unknown, Hasbro overpacked the Toad Air Marshal in cases, causing the pegs to be clogged with him on store shelves. It got to the point where he was the only figure you can find when you went to the store 
which of course in turn led to poor sales of the line and ultimately its demise. Boy, you know, that sure does sound familiar. In fact, an entire second wave of figures and vehicles was slated to come out. Pictures of the figures even exist online. Wave 2 is going to consist of characters such as Rumblebee, Spacesuit Bucky, Kamikaze Camo, Sorion, Pitstop Pete, Total Terror Toad, and the one figure that everyone really wanted to own, Jenny. The thing that sucks the most about Jenny not getting a release, aside from the fact that she's a part of the main crew, is that she was already produced, carded, and ready for release. She was supposed to come out with the first wave, but was pushed back to help populate the upcoming second wave. When the line got cancelled, so did everyone's dream of finally adding Jenny to their figure collection. Even though we never got to complete our collection, due to the line croaking just like the Toad Empire, the figures we did get released are still fantastic toys. Whether you're an old fan of the comic or TV series, or are just looking for something new to discover, this is a line of action figures I would highly recommend tracking down and adding to your toy collection. Toy Talk!